This week I competed in a UK British tour event to work on some of the stuff that I've been working on with my coach before playing some futures tournaments. I have to win four matches in a row to win the title and I was the seed number one which would help. Right guys, so this morning you just got lots of carbs. I'm playing at 11.30 so I want to make sure I get another meal in before as I'm hitting to warm up at about 8.30. So I'm going to eat this and uh, yeah, get on, the, get on the road. It's an early start. Yes guys, so just about to head on for my first match. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good opportunity to work on some of the things I've been working on with my coach, being aggressive, making a lot of first serves, especially into the body to get a good first ball. And yeah, I'm really pumped, looking forward to this first match. I'm just about to do a physical warm up and then head on court and see how it goes. So let's jump straight into my first match. My opponent, Joshua, was a lefty. So I knew that I'd have to basically target his backhand side a, bit, a little bit more. And I knew that especially on my backhand side to his forehand, I'd have to hit it super consistently and strong to make sure that I'm not putting myself under pressure. I said to my coach that the main things in this match were gonna be trying to really hit high first serve percentage, definitely come forward to the net as much as possible to close and finish out the points and really try and put some pressure on my opponent by being nice and aggressive and not trying to slice too much and slip into those defensive patterns. As you can see here early on on a juice point, winning that by just pretty much scrambling to go a break up early in this match. Like you can see there, just trying to hit the forehand was gonna be important to really try and be aggressive and be assertive in this match. Going up 3-2 is obviously a, a confidence boosting uh, game, especially when you're a break up. And you know, I think that moving around the court felt pretty natural. I felt very comfortable today and especially Hitting that backhand there, you can see I was I was feeling it at the beginning of this match. You know, 4-3, 30 was a pretty big point. Uh, maybe a chance for my opponent to, to get back into the match here. Going with that inside-out backhand almost. Looking to just kind of scramble there at the net and put away the ball. He gets to it and nearly puts that ball in, which would have been a key point. But I managed to take it to go 5-3 at the beginning of this set. This first set, I felt quite confident. I felt like I was just being a little bit lazy in you know, my ground stroke. So like this point would be a better example of what I was trying to do, just be nice and solid. Um, you know, obviously that slice could be a lot better. And I think that just defensively, I could do a lot of a, a better job on getting more depth and, and width. Um, but yeah, stepping in, phasing up on the ball was something that I think was working very well. Just putting in one more ball than my opponent was doing uh, was pretty much what I needed to do, as you can see there, and I get a set point pretty early on. On that set point, so I had to go line with the backhand and come forwards again, which is what I was working on, which is obviously super you know, important that you use the matches as opportunities to work on those things, especially in the first round or two. Um, I go 40-50 up in that game, somehow dig out that low volley and close it off at the net, taking an early break in the second. And um, highlight of the match here at 2-love, 40-love, I played a crazy game, go over the head, hit him with the hot dog and he misses that ball and I take a three love lead in this second set, cruising. Um, my opponent's not going away though, he's you know, still fighting in his, in his service games, uh, definitely looking to put me under some pressure, uh, make me play fast like that, missing, forcing the errors. Uh, but I was, at this point I was feeling very confident in my, uh, in my service games there, second serve down the tee to his backhand, looking forward to, uh, looking to come forwards and uh, attack with the forehand. He gets me off the court there nicely with his, his lefty swing of forehand, but again, just trying to really get on that forehand side, rip it inside out, and I take that point to go 4-1 up in this second set. So I was having a really good, um, you know, return, a few return games basically, just making a lot of returns. That was what was being really effective. You know, he's drawing me off the court, but somehow managed to, to get that ball back in off the camera. And uh, yeah, then just start punishing with the forehand. He manages to put in a very deep ball. Balls kind of fizzed through on these courts, so they were quite quick. So you see like that, a ball that lands very deep is going to really fly through. And once again, the same thing. So you, know, you can see you're getting rewarded for kind of consistent depth, which is what he was able to do. But just wearing him down there and make, forcing the error, basically taking us to, uh, to juice in this 4-1 in this game. And uh, yeah, once again, making that return, hitting that low forehand, then looking to, to get on that forehand onto his backhand, then obviously phase up here on the forehand, really changing the pace. Uh, I managed to break there, take it five to five one, go 40-15 up and then close it out um, with uh, uh, this point here. After that win, I wasn't able to unfortunately film the second round. I did win 6-2, 6-1, which took me through to the semi-finals. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Now, if you want to improve your decision-making, strategy, game IQ on the tennis court, then the Fuzzy Yellow Balls New Rules of Singles is something for you. It's an online course which has 38 different lessons and includes Craig O'Shaughnessy, who's actually worked with top players like Novak, 
And him and Will from Fuzziola talk through some really cool strategies using the analytics of tennis, including how to beat pushers using analytics, how to play on big points using big point strategy, and finally, why the practice court is broken and how you can use new rules to implement in your training to level up your tennis. You can check out the new rules of singles in the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app or click the link down below in the description to go and check it out. Yes, guys, so just woke up. Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, got it done yesterday. Uh, managed to be pretty clinical, so wasn't on court for too long. I'm gonna go ahead to have breakfast now. I'm looking forward to playing. I've got quite a tough opponent this morning. It's gonna be a good test. Um, I'm hopefully I can play some good tennis and uh, see what I can do. In the semifinals, I was to play a former ATP ranked opponent who's been at college for a few years. Um, he got his first or was ATP ranked when I was only 15 years old, so definitely has the experience on me. Uh, he's actually played quite a few British tours already this year and has already taken a few titles, so was definitely a very strong player in the 12s UTR wise as well, so definitely higher than mine. Uh, you can see early on here just, um, you know, a lot of serve and first balls, a lot of drop shots trying to mix up the pace, you know, it's pretty even going through to this, um, you know, fifth service game. Uh, but I do manage to get the break here and go 3 2 up on serve. He manages to just kind of hustle around in these points. I was being a little bit scrappy. This was uh, first on at nine o'clock and I just think I wasn't quite as turned on as I should have been. He managed to get around that, hit an inside in forehand off a second serve and then held to love, which basically totally shut off my momentum there, uh, taking it to 4-3. Puts in a really solid volley there on my service game, forcing me to a juice game. I really felt that I had to you know, I had to win this game, otherwise the total momentum was gonna was gonna go in this first set. Approach off that backhand there, play a short body to win the point, take me to add point up. Definitely hitting that backhand well, down the line winner to take it to four all. This was potentially a good opportunity to break here actually, but my opponent was just too good at um, those one, two punches and on serving percentages. 30 all here, opponent gets a let, forces me to hit that kind of slice. I try and come in off that forehand and just miss timer and he goes, angle cross and um, here once again getting him on off, off balance trying to really attack with the forehand getting a net cord there him lobbing me not quite doing enough with the smash and him putting it bang in the corner for the first set and that first set felt like it was kind of robbed from me a little bit which is frustrating um, I really think that it's, it's annoying when the set goes like that you're evens until 5-4 and then you know, he just gets one or two points which don't go your way. But I said to myself, look, let's try and start strong. Let's try and break at the beginning of this second set. As you can see here, 40-30 up, chance to break. Just trying to be nice and solid, nice and consistent. You can see me just sliding, running around um, all over the place. And um, yeah, eventually getting rewarded with a missed shot there from him and taking an early, early lead in this second set, which is super important. I was definitely trying to hit that forehand as deep as possible because I think that that depth is more important than actually you know how hard you're hitting it. Um, I do think I was resorting to the slice a little bit too much, but I made up for it by just court speed and trying to just hustle as much as possible. You can see me here in that second break point uh, to go three love up in this second set, getting him off the court with that slice and then coming in with the, the forehand up the line. Um, I was trying to stay a lot very stable on my backhand as well, which you can see me doing there. That was definitely helping a lot. And this second set, my level definitely increased. This is the level that you know I want to be playing a little bit more. Um, I do give him a break point chance though at, at 4-1. Um, he goes, you know, very good drop shot there, gets me off the court, hits me with the lob. Uh, I kind of panic a little bit and just put the ball back in play and he goes back uh, cross court and I can't manage to put that in, but he does then get the break and um, you know, serving at 4-2 here manages to just put that ball line to go 4-3. Now the pressure's back on me here. I was a double break up, now it's only a single break, but it is still a break. And as you can see, I'm playing, I'm playing much more confidently than I was um, you know, in, the, in the first set. It was a little bit shaky. Um, my opponent uh, takes it to 5-3, to uh, serving for 5-4 to make me serve it out for the second set. Any good player will always make you try and serve it out. Bit too nonchalant with that passing shot maybe, and with that backhand, I take it to a third. Also, guys, if you enjoy this content, please help us out on the road to 200k subscribers by clicking that subscribe button. In this match tiebreak, it's literally anything can happen. First to 10 points, so I said I'm going to take each one as it comes, see what's going to happen. Uh, I go 3-1 up in this tiebreak. He puts in a solid serve, 3-2. Uh, this was a point that I really wanted to get here to go 4-2 up, but he just gets me off balance with that forehand, really punishing me. Then with the drive volley and the smash, putting that ball away. Um, I do go 5-3 up though, I've had you know, two kind of times that I've led in this tiebreak already but he was doing a really good job of putting the pressure on coming forwards, I get that point there but it goes back to 6-5, um, you know, he's just dominating with the forehand getting me all over the place and I can't really get a racket on it 
good enough to get that ball back in. 7-6 here, again, important point, managed to go line, get on the forehand. I'm just being a little bit too tentative watching this back now. You know, he's getting me off the court, he's coming forwards, he's being the one that's being aggressive. I get a bit lucky with the net court, it's a little bit of a scramble, but I managed to win that point to go 8-6. He takes it back to 8-7, hits an ace. Um, I go match point down here at 9-8. Uh, he comes in with the drive volley, I've got to make him play. He just misses it to go 9 all. Um, this is a huge point right here. Go inside in with the forehand. He goes back behind, just wrong foots me. But I can't quite get it in at 10-9. He just plays a great point. Yes, guys, so unfortunately I did lose. Not the result we wanted. He did end up winning the final 6-2, 6-3. So that was how fine it was between me losing and winning. That was all in preparation, of course, for futures tournaments, which I'm actually playing right now in Monastir, Tunisia. So three solid matches before I came out here is always a positive thing. Make sure that you subscribe because I'm playing the tournaments right now as we speak. So next week's video, you're going to see all about how it's going. Back where I got my first ATP point. So let's see if I can pick up some more on this second trip here. See you guys in next week's video.